I tend to go through life like the fool in the tarot deck at the edge of a precipice in pursuit of a butterfly, which may not seem terribly responsible or grown up, but frankly, I never really wanted to grow up. When I was younger, I wanted to be a child forever, especially if growing up meant it would be beneath my dignity to climb a tree. But life is change, and changelessness is lifelessness, so I did decide to grow up. I knew I had no other choice, and so the dream of Neverland gave way to a dream of possibilities, a place for growing up, the dream of Oz, of getting on the road and moving towards some distant destination, but finding adventures and uh, excitement and helpers and magic and wonder and learning along the way. But both Neverland and Oz offered dissatisfactory ideas about being grown up. I mean, one only suggested that you might become a bitter and despotic pirate, and the other a mere charlatan, showman, and humbug, and neither of these seemed worth growing up for. But I found another idea of being a grown up that I could aspire to the captain. Now here was Captain Kangaroo who could navigate the absurdities of life and who could solve problems with Mr. Green Jane's Dance with Dancing Bear, demonstrate crafts, tell stories, and suffer the pranks of Moose and Bunny Rabbit. So I set out to become Captain Kangaroo and journeyed into life as the fool along the yellow brick road like Captain Kangaroo, but uh, in my own way, being silly and inventive and performing as a street busker, a mime, a storyteller, an arts educator in the schools, entertaining children, entertaining adults, entertaining myself. And something happened, though, that deepened and made my work much more serious. Uh, on January 17, 1989, a lone gunman opened fire on a school playground during recess in Stockton, California, and I realized that I should be taking my work much more seriously, for I wondered how many children that morning had whined about having to go to school that day, how many of them had been told all along that they should forget about today, work hard, and soon, someday, they'll get a job. I realized that childhood is not just a trajectory towards an adult, grown-up target. It's, the targets are unpredictable these days anyway. That childhood was not so much about arriving, but about going on the road, being on a journey of learning that would never really end. So, uh, as a real-life captain and inspiration, Buckminster Fuller often used to say, I find where I should be going only by setting out for somewhere else. And that, I realized, was the true value of any target or destination. Not to arrive, but to have something to get you on the road. So I, I wanted to be a part of change. And as Buckminster Fuller observed, you never change things by fighting the existing reality, but by creating a new model that makes the old one obsolete. And that's what... A plus arts integrated learning means to me it's a new model to make the old one obsolete for arts in education reminds us that today must be worth living today is a work of art today while we are learning we are also seeking to live well is today worth it was today a good day if so then we've been successful and we all travel, like the captain did, uh, along with companions, students and teachers together, learning together, recognizing the absurdity of life together, and growing together. A-plus is about curating life now. For now may be all that we have. And if it is, it needs to be worth living. It, need, it can be itself a work of art. So this is not about you know, plans and objectives. This is about stepping through the framework and recognizing that all of our objectives aside, we celebrate the moment now in an A-plus journey that we fill with brains, with heart, and with courage. <laughs>